I'm uh, John Dexheimer, and I am a partner and founder of Lightwave Advisors, which is in the advisory business. I've been in, involved in optics companies as an investor, uh, advisor, consultant for uh, nearly 20 years now. The uh, Harnessing Light study by the National Academy of Sciences should be coming out in the next couple of months. And I had been invited to uh, give some input to, at several different of their committee meetings. Uh, so I was very pleased to have an opportunity to do that. And we talked about uh, funding specifically. What we've seen over the last 10 years is really a proliferation uh, and expansion of photonics market opportunities. If you go back to 2000, uh, the investment community was heavily focused on the communications opportunity. Uh, I think you've seen, uh, you've seen that expand quite a bit. Uh, the defense sector is certainly very strong, and there are investors that have come into the defense sector. Um, not necessarily, well, to some extent from the venture capital community, but from the buyout community. I think the, uh, the, the, the positive factors that should come from harnessing light are really highlighting the sector. I think there's a, a number of things that should be done uh, to do that post harnessing light. It shouldn't be a, the report's out, it stops. There's a number of continuing factors that organizations like SPIE really should take a leadership role in promoting the industry, statistics, economic impact. There's a huge array of, I'd call them business tools that can be used for education within the community itself as well as the investment community uh, in the private market as well as the government community. And so I think harnessing light, this report should have a good first step, but it shouldn't be the last step. There should be a continuing uh, education and information flow that gets developed. People should become familiar with uh, the jobs bill which recently passed. And there's two very interesting aspects uh, to that. It's basically to, to, to help the capital markets uh, create and fund entrepreneurial companies uh, more proactively than has been done over the last eight to ten years. And the specifics of it are going to be ironed out. I think it's over the next 180 days by the SEC as to exactly what rules are going to work and publications and impact for lawyers and small companies. But basically it makes it easy, much easier to raise a million dollars of capital each year by a small company via a broker dealer and via this crowdsourcing idea where you can put out a short publication, invite people to look at it, and have them sign up for an investment down to $10,000. There are a few websites that are up and going and, and, and you can get access to now and invite yourself into a deal and kind of scan deals as an individual to invest in. There are some companies that I've discovered on there that are, that are what I'd call hardcore sciences, diagnostic instruments. Um, uh, you know, fabulous founding teams, uh, PhD scientists from universities. Uh, so I think that this opens up a channel that companies in the photonic sector and the SPIE community can take advantage of. The other aspect of the jobs bill involves the public markets and it's to make public capital raising for small companies uh, more accessible. I think it's actually been a fairly robust time the last several years and I think going forward for the photonic sector. I think there's, there's a lot of good things in the photonic sector. One, you've got rich and deep IP that has what I'll call it is, is legs. Uh, if you have IP, uh, you, can, you can develop it with customers, you can get NRE funding with customers. There's obviously been a robust uh, government funding, not just defense community, but the NSF um, and the corporate side. And good examples of companies doing corporate can be either investments, uh, NRE, and a very robust acquisition market in, uh, in the photonic sector. I think that's actually very positive. A lot of capital has come into the sector via the acquisition market. And the acquisition market thus creates a capital flow to companies um, to, to grow, and I think it's been a very positive move.